Welcome. This is a video in which I might fail completely. It's going to require some artistic effort on my part, in which case things are dangerous. But I'd like to sort of explore, I'd like to explore one of my favorite puzzles. And I'll begin with a warm-up puzzle. Take a rubber ball, a sphere, and let's assume it's punctured. So it's a punctured rubber ball. So it's hollow inside, made of infinitely stretchy rubber, rubber say. I'm going to ask, what happens if I open up that hole and attempt to turn the ball inside out? First of all, can it be done? And if it can be done, what happens? Well, if I do that, a little bit of the lining of the ball showing, you can see I can start to pull the flap of the, the hole over the sphere itself. And it's actually fairly clear, even with my bad artistic efforts, that I can keep doing this all the way over. And what results is actually, again, another sphere with the, outside, with the inside lining of the original sphere now on the outside. So turning a sphere inside out, a punctured sphere inside out, is possible, and the result is another sphere. Now my question is, is it possible to evert a donut, a torus? So evert means turn inside out, torus means donut. Could I take a hollow rubber donut, whoops, pen please, there we go, and puncture the side, and then attempt to open up that puncture a little bit of lining poking through, and somehow turn this thing inside out. Can it be done? Well, you might think it might be tricky because that hole, the donut's going to get in the way and make turning things inside out quite awkward, if not impossible. And if you like, you can uh, actually try this with something practical. Take an old pair of trousers, which basically has two legs with holes at the end like this, and a big waistband for the uh, waist opening is another hole. If I take it a um, a needle and thread, I could sew my two leg bands together. Oops. And if you see, if I do the, sew the openings together, I can actually make the equivalent of a punctured donut. There's a punctured donut. And with this object in hand, you can actually attempt to turn this inside out. And to your amazement, you'll find it can be done. And if you're really, really clever and look at it very closely, you might be able to recognize what that final answer is. So I guess this video is going to give the answer away. So if you want to actually try it with an old pair of trousers first, pause now and come back to this video later, because I'm about to attempt to draw the pictures to explain what happens. All right, now I'm going to start drawing. This is where things get bad. Turning a donut inside out is in fact possible, and the result is another donut. Here goes. What I'm going to imagine doing is opening that flap so broadly that it actually becomes a great big sort of flat rectangular area. And I don't know if you believe me, but I'm going to actually take this little part that's sort of the right-hand side of the hole and imagine it's there on the flap. So I've got one hole there, one hole there. I've got these rest of the, the donut hole sort of sneaking around like this. And this is the inside lining of the donut. I guess this is the hardest part for me to draw because I don't know how to really draw the intermediate stages here any more clearly because uh, my artistic abilities are quite weak. But the key part, can you see how to go from this picture to that picture? If you can, then I keep pulling that flap over, keep pulling it over and I'll get some picture like this, two holes. You can imagine doing something like this. This is all happening on the inside. This is the lining of the inside lining of the donut now appearing on the outside. And in fact, I can close this up and I get some sort of shape like this. You've got some sort of tube all sitting inside a small little opening like this. So maybe another way to think about this is imagine you've put your finger through this hole like that. And then there's your finger still in that hole, just uh, like follows. Keep your finger in the hole, but it might have to bend a little bit. And there's your finger still in the hole. And if you do that, you can actually see that what I've drawn here on the right is actually another donut. Very bad drawing. Maybe this video makes no sense whatsoever. All right. Well, it is another donut. It is another torus. Turning a torus inside out is possible, and the result is yet another torus. If you do this with a pair of trousers, you might not actually recognize it because things are asymmetrical with this pair of trousers. You've got quite a big hole at present uh, with the legs wrapping around it. But if you put your finger, so if you put something in the middle of the, or the, uh, the tube of the hole, that tube now becomes the hole of the outside donut. So what you see with a pair of trousers is actually a donut. It's very long and skinny type of donut. It does have a hole in it, but 
is basically one trouser width long as the whole thing. It is a donut, just looks like a weird proportioned donut. All right, well that's probably a totally useless video, but why not just carry on and provide you guys with a challenge. So that was turning a sphere inside out provides a sphere. Everting a donut yields another donut. Is it possible to turn a double donut inside out? And if so, what is the shape? Wouldn't it be amazing if it's another double donut? Or is it possible to invert a triple donut? Ooh, how fun. I guess another question is, could you sew together pieces of the laundry to even make this shape? A double donut or a triple donut? That could be a puzzle unto itself. All right then, I'll stop there. Thanks very much.